Thousands of local jobs right at your fingertips at Kelloland Employment. Search, research area employers, even create job email alerts. Your job search just got easier with Kelloland Employment at Kelloland.com. We explained the charges a man is facing in connection to the death of a 20-year-old woman earlier this month. Plus, we hear from a local nonprofit about a bill in Pier that looks to take another step in the fight against human trafficking. And devastated over the death of Kobe Bryant, a Sioux Falls man shares what it was like working alongside the NBA legend. Good morning, this is Kevin Land on the go with all you need to know in news and weather as you start your day. The Sioux Falls Fire Rescue is receiving a high honor. The SFFR are the 2020 recipients of the Paul S. Sarbanes Fire Service Safety Leadership Award. The event, this, this award is given out once a year to fire departments across the nation. It recognizes them for their leadership in advancing firefighter health and safety. That's a, it's a national level award. They give it out to three different departments. Uh, we were the career department uh, amongst all career departments in the, in the nation. That's just a really good Parts highlights that a major reason for the recognition is for their incorporation of the 16 firefighter life safety initiatives into their everyday duties. Temperatures are warming up in Kelo Land and some areas are warmer than others. Now let's get a check on our weather forecast with meteorologist Scott Munt. Hey, good morning, you two. Good morning, Kelo Land. Uh, we are looking at numbers today to be slightly above average for much of the area. Better chance for sunshine found across western South Dakota. Now, as we take a look at the outline, areas of fog once again this morning. Cloudy skies today across eastern Kelo Land. Looks like we'll have the numbers in the 20s and 30s. Also, watch it for light snow showers and flurries. And we still have that weekend warm up in sight. More details with that with Brian Karstens coming up. Thanks, Scott. A grand jury has charged 19-year-old Amir Boudouin Jr. with first-degree murder, aggravated kidnapping, and rape. He's accused of killing 20-year-old Pascalina Body earlier this month. On January 6th, authorities found Body dead alongside the road on the southern edge of Sioux Falls in Lincoln County. Court papers say Boudouin followed Body through the east side Walmart parking lot where she worked in the early morning hours of January 5th. Though Boudouin has been in custody since January 7th for another in incident, this is the first time he's been officially arrested and charged in the body case. I think every uh, division or unit uh, within the Sioux Falls Police Department had something to do with this investigation uh, from, our street, from the street crimes unit uh, to um, the fugitive task force. Um, to the property crimes uh, detectives. Everybody worked on this case. Boudouin will be in court today. Bond is set at $1 million cash. A Kelloland nonprofit is hoping lawmakers give the thumbs up to Governor Kristi Noem's anti human trafficking bill. Call to Freedom is, is an organization that provides services to victims of human trafficking. Executive Director Becky Rasmussen says House Bill 1047 would do a number of things, including helping victims move forward. This actually allows somebody who is a victim of human trafficking at any age to go before a judge if they have a misdemeanor or a felony during their trafficking scenario um, to be able to get their um, record expunged and vacated at any age. Rasmussen says it would also help protect victims who have been trafficked by parents or guardians. The sudden loss of NBA legend Kobe Bryant, one of his daughters and seven others, has sent shockwaves around the world. Their chopper went down in foggy weather Sunday, and now investigators are beginning to look into what went wrong. Investigators from the National Transportation Safety Board are at the crash site examining debris that's scattered across a rugged hillside. Flight track records show the chopper was circling for about 12 minutes over the Glendale area. Dispatch audio captured the moments before the crash. Two Echo X-ray, you're uh, still too low level uh, for uh, flight following at this time. Investigators will examine the pilot's decision to fly in the questionable weather, but they will also be looking at the chopper's flight data recorder to determine if a mechanical issue is to blame. Fans are showing an outpouring of support. In Minnesota, the U.S. Bank Stadium is paying tribute to the former Laker. A sign showing Kobe and his daughter was lit in Minneapolis Sunday night. A Sioux Falls man used to play pickup games with Kobe Bryant. Tom Savage worked two years for the Lakers in the public relations department. He says after practice, he and Kobe would shoot around together and sometimes play a game of horse. <laughs> he didn't lose. Uh, he never lost. And he would do some things. Like if I'd get an H on him for some weird reason, he'd, he'd do something crazy where I would just say, yeah, just, you know, just give yourself the R and we'll call it good. Yeah, he was competitive, no question. 
Savage says he first heard about the helicopter crash while he was on his computer, and the news popped up on his screen. Brian? All right, forecast today as we look upon the maps. We've got a little snow in the air. Of course, uh, today the chance of light snow is there. Also, we've had some black ice issues this morning. So, yeah, these stories are out there. Be careful on the roads. Obviously, the snow coating in the uh, areas of the southwest last night a little more. That's why storm totals are one to two. So, that's how we start off this Tuesday. Future cast update reflects that band of snow through central Kedolam. It will continue to march to the east and to the southeast. We'll likely see that in Sioux Falls becoming a little bit more organized by late afternoon and into the early evening. And then that band of snow will move to the east. Departing clouds, though, will not depart. It looks like a cloudy forecast for midweek East River. West River folks are going to do a little better. And then the weekend. Well, that's a big story, too. This mild weather compared to normal is going to become even more dominant as we get into Saturday and Sunday, and that means temperatures, well, 40s in Sioux Falls. That's what we're thinking right now. We might get close to 50, not far from Sioux Falls on Sunday. Wind plays a little role in that. Obviously, we'll continue to watch all of those variables, but bottom line is, yeah, it's a pretty tame forecast. Wind could enter the picture, too, for Aberdeen next week. But you know what? I think melting snow is going to be the name of the game here for Saturday and Sunday with upper 30s to near 40-degree weather. Pier will be warmer. Upper 40s, near 50, and to top it off, Rapid City in the West, we're going to head for the 60s Saturday and Sunday. Guys? Thanks, Brian, and thanks for joining us for Kelloland on the go. Be sure to join us on air for midday in Kelloland. Until then, you can get up to the minute developments right here on Kelloland.com. Now go have a great day.